All right, welcome back to the three-time Emmy Award-winning state champs. This is our high school football preview show, and we continue our look at the top teams and conferences across Southeast Michigan. Detroit News' Tom Markowski is here to break it down. Let's move on to the Catholic League. We'll start in the Central Division, always one of the toughest divisions in the state. Detroit Catholic Central is number one. Orchard Lake St. Mary's, number two. Birmingham Brother Rice, number three. Catholic Central with Matt Godin on the line of scrimmage. Going to the University of Michigan, the Shamrocks are the team to beat. Go to the AA division. I have Notre Dame Prep, number one. Ann Arbor Richard, number two. Dearborn Divine Child, number three. Intersectional one, I have Detroit Loyola, number one. Bishop Foley, number two. Cabrini, number three. I like Loyola as a prohibitive favorite there. I think they run away with it. Intersectional number two, Waterford Our Lady of the Lakes, number one. Royal Oak Shrine, number two. Riverview, Richard, number three. Lakes has to be good this year. They scheduled Detroit Country Day as one of their non-league games. Mike Boyd must think he's got a powerhouse with the Lakes. All right, Detroit, are you ready? Time now to talk about the Public School League. In fact, intriguing here, they've dropped it down to just two divisions, eight and one, ten in the other. Who do you like? In Division One, I like Cass Tech, number one. Crockett, number two. King, number three. Cass is loaded. If they can replace their quarterback and their running back, they could get back to the Division I semifinals. Division two, you could throw a dart at a dartboard and pick out the winner on this one. I'm going with Southwestern. I like Andre Harlan. He's a heck of a coach. And then I have Pershing, number two. Douglas, number three. All right, stay with us. Our conference blitz continues here on State Champs. We've got five more conferences to preview. One that we feel will grow substantially over the next several years is the Charter School Conference. This is a two-horse race, Michigan Collegiate and Harper Woods Chandler Park. I really believe Michigan Collegiate is going to go 9-0 this season. They have a plethora of talented players. All right, well, let's quickly take a trip up 94 North, maybe up 53 as well. Take a look at the Blue Water Conference. Head and shoulders above the rest is Croswell Lexington, a perennial playoff team. Next, you have Palmont and then KPAC. All right, we're going to bring it back down south now. Look at one of our favorite leagues to cover, and that is the Down River League. Always a lot of parity. At the top of the list, I have Southgate Anderson, followed by Wyandotte Roosevelt and Allen Park. Talk about Wyandotte, they have a big offensive line coming back, and running back Hunter Matt should do well there. But I like Southgate. You have Craig McNeese, a linebacker defensive end, will start at quarterback this season. All right, quickly, you know, we cover them all. Let's get into the MIAC, better known as the Michigan Independent Athletic Conference. At number one, I have Rochester Hills Lutheran Northwest. Number two, Sterling Heights Parkway Christian. And number three, a playoff team from last year, Gross Point Woods University Liggett. All right, we've got one more to get to. Some will say we've saved the best for last. It's the Macomb Area Conference, better known as the MAC. A lot of divisions in this one. Let's get to it. We'll start in the red division. Utica Eisenhower, which hasn't been to the state finals in nearly a decade, I have number one. Romeo, number two. Macomb, Dakota slips to three. In the white division, we have Utica Ford, then Roseville, and then Warren Cousineau. Ford's going to be way up. It's one of their best teams in years. In fact, it could be their best team in history. On to the blue division. We have Gross Point South. I have number one. Port Huron, number two. And New Baltimore Anchor Bay, number three. Gross Point South, which reached the semifinals of Division II last year. I really look to have a better season this year. On to the Gold Division. I have Marine City, number one. Madison Heights, Madison, number two. And St. Clair Shores, Lakeshore, number three. The Silver Division, I have Marysville, number one. Warren Woods Tower, number two. St. Clair Shores, Lakeview, number three. Finally, in the Bronze Division, St. Clair Shores, Southlake, number one. Southlake was a playoff team last year, lost to Detroit Country Day in the first round. Mike Giannone from Dakota told me this could be the big team in the MAC this year. All right, now if your team did not make our list, we would like nothing more than to eat crow later in the season. Prove it on the field, and we'll talk about it right here on State Champs.